Scarlet Hello episode 2. Let's begin. Oh, awesome. I've been waiting for this. After I finished episode 1, I got COVID-19 and wasn't able to uh, record any episodes like for several weeks because I lost my voice completely. But now it's back and I get to continue this wonderful game, so I'm very excited about it. I hope you are too. Let's continue. You open your eyes. The sun has risen, the birds are singing. You are still alive and for now, you are safe. Your gaze wanders across the room to the window and the woods beyond. You wonder if the monsters are lurking there right now, just beyond the trees, ready to pounce as soon as you leave the crumpling estate. A familiar unease settles into your gut, tangling into a knot of anxiety, wriggling as the events of last night play out in your head. You can't help but remember Duke, slumped against a tree, pieces of him scattered across the clearing. Yeah, that happened and it was my fault, I chose to save Gretchen and not him. You're not sure if you'll ever feel okay after what you've seen, but you can't stay in bed forever. Yeah, very true. Let's take a look at our room. Has something changed? No, I don't think think so. If something has changed, I do not notice it for the moment. Hunger pulls you from the glammy depths of the mattress. Check on- yes! I will check on Dustin, but I will check out the other options as well. Poke around the closet, look out the window, text Stella, get dressed and head down to the kitchen. Well, definitely gonna check on Dustin because I feel like I traumatized him last time I saw him. <laughs> you open the drawers to check in on Dustin. Oh, do you have a piece of toast? I think that's a toast. Oh, that's awesome you have food. Such a clever person. Oh, good, he's still here. Human is back. <laughs> Good morning, Dustin. I see you have bread now. Have you met Fru Fru? Can I talk to you about something horrible that happened last night? <laughs> Just checking in. I'll leave you be. Close the drawer. Mm. I think it's he, him, at least I hope I'm using the right pronouns. But I'm gonna wish Dustin a good morning. Good? No, this is my life. <laughs> good morning, Dustin. How are you today? Dustin feel good. Had productive night. I see that you have a wonderful slice of toast next to you. I see you have a bread now. Yes, Dustin found a bread. Dustin also ate a bug last night. Good night for Dustin. Well, it does sound like it, yeah. Um, I'm gonna ask if Dustin knows Rufu. I mean, they do live in a same building. Have you met Frufru? monster What's going on here? Okay, so um, first we had Gretchen referring Frufru as a monster 
and now we have Dustin who uses precisely the same word. I mean, there are many other words to use if you want to say that someone is cold or, I don't know, cruel or mean or something, but why do they use the same word? I mean, I chose that as an episode title <laughs> because it felt suitable at the time and kind of reflected other things also besides Fru Fru. But now Dustin is using the same word and it makes me wonder. Okay, so Dustin might be a bit afraid of Fru Fru perhaps? At least he stutters a bit when he's saying that word, okay. Um, well, <laughs> I don't want to traumatize Dustin anymore, like even more than I did last time, but perhaps Dustin might know, like, what are those creatures lurking in the woods? Can I talk to you about something horrible that happened last night? Human can always talk to Dustin. What happened? <laughs> oh, Dustin, you precious little creature. I watched a man die. The woods are full of big scary monsters. The woods are full of monsters and I can't go home. Never mind. Mm. I'm gonna say the woods are full of big scary monsters. I mean, perhaps Dustin knows or has encountered them or something. The woods are full of big, scary monsters. Dustin understand. World is full of big scaries. When Dustin gets scared, Dustin pretend to be dead. Good advice for human, maybe. <laughs> Thank you, Dustin. That makes me feel a bit more relieved. I mean, I really thought that I had traumatized you a lot last time, but luckily there was a kind comment telling that opossums play dead when they get nervous, so who knows? Perhaps at some point during this week we are actually gonna need this advice. We tend to be dead. Who knows? <laughs> I mean, after we encountered those creatures in the woods last night, I'm not anymore under the impression that monsters aren't real in this story. <laughs> It was nice to catch up, Dustin. I'll see you around. Close the drawer. It was nice to catch up, Dustin. I'll leave you be. Okay. <laughs> I love Dustin so much. You gently close the drawer. Hook around the closet, look at the window, text Stella. Get dressed and head down to the kitchen. Well, let's take a look at the closet, I mean. Has anything changed? I think the doll is kind of in the same position as it was before. I don't notice immediately any changes for what comes to the boxes here. Was the shoe on this leg? Or in the other leg? Now I'm just imagining things. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that wasn't a thing right right great the doll didn't move during the night maybe it isn't haunted after all though after everything you went through yesterday that's hardly a consolation return to your room <laughs> yeah you turn back to the rest of the room look out the window Mm, you creep towards the window, careful not to be seen by whatever might be lurking in the garden. Let's take a look at our garden. <gasps> no. No way. No. No, 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 no. What are you doing there? That looks like Wayne. From last night, the one who knew our name and welcomed us home. The one wearing 
jacket and veil over their head. Well, I think Sibyl might have been using he, him pronouns. So wearing a veil over his head, but like... Sir, <laughs> uh, this is a private property. I'm pretty sure you're not authorized to walk on these grounds. And why are you watching my window? How the heck do you know that this is my window? Or are you just making wild guesses of which window is mine or just watching the house in general? You must have climbed the whole way up this big ass hill from the town and the climb as we saw the image where our house is uh, situated and how far it is from the town so you must have walked all the way up here just to watch our windows I, I'm, I'm so nervous I have goosebumps <laughs> Yeah, and now he's gone. He's gone. Great. Okay, <sighs> breathe in and out, Katie. For a second you thought you saw movement. It could have been an animal. It could have been something else. Whatever it was, it's gone now. Leave the window. <gasps> I'm scared to go outside. Text Stella. It's probably a good idea to check in with your new friend. You can't imagine she's holding up very well. <laughs> Yo, what up? <laughs> hey, how are you holding up? Or hi. Send a picture of a tired cat you found on the internet. <laughs> um... I'm gonna send a picture of a tired cat I found on the internet because sometimes sometimes photos speak louder than words. It might take her a minute to get back to you. In the meantime, get dressed and head down to the kitchen. Time to start your day. Oh, Furfru is here again. Has anything changed? I don't think so. I don't notice any changes. If you do, let me know. <laughs> You're back in the kitchen. Rufru eyes you from her favorite spot on the counter. Her pupils dilate and her tail twitches. I see you are still here. How oh, unfortunate. Excuse me, ma'am. May I pet you? But Fru Fru, I don't want to be here either. Have, I, have you noticed anything weird around here? Do you know anything about Ditchlings? Gretchen sends her regards. Silently glare at her. <laughs> Ignore her. I mean, I wonder if ignoring her would actually make her more inclined to accept us. But there are so many questions I want to ask. I have talked to animals. <sighs> I'm gonna ask. Have you noticed anything weird around here? We ran into these horrible things in the wood last night and... Silence. Do you know what time it is? Quiet your awful little mouth. Your voice is the only horrible thing I have witnessed as of late. I'm gonna say Gretchen sends her regards. Gretchen sends her regards. C'est the perfect toujours. That creature has not yet returned to whatever vile bit of hell it called from. Um, I'm not sure what word is this 
but I am assuming that the whole sentence all together means that that something still lives. <laughs> um, and now she is swearing. <laughs> this is the first time I actually see her swearing. If you want to know what this means, Google it. <laughs> um, Merde. Truly ours is not a kind god. Hey. Oh, she looks furious. Oh no. Did you know the police called me this morning? You've only been here one day and you've already had a run-in with the cops. Yeah, that's true. Did the cops say anything about Duke? We were chased through the woods by monsters and you're worried about cops? There are monsters in the woods we need to leave. I had a really rough night, can you cut me some slack? What can I say? Trouble follows me wherever I go. Duke's blood is on my hands, I'm sorry. Can I hang out with you today? What's the plan for today? For the day? Uh, is there anything I can do to help out? Say nothing. Well... <laughs> I'm gonna... She's not gonna believe me. When I say this, but this is also like... This is the truth. I'm gonna tell her everything. I'm gonna tell her about those creatures. And I'm gonna be honest of what happened with Duke. Even though she would not believe me and would think that my side of family is not okay. <laughs> I'm gonna take a risk and try to trust her. We were chased through the woods by monsters and you're worried about the cops? Yeah, I'm worried about the cops. I'm busy and I don't like talking to them. Did the cops say anything about Duke? What's up with you and Stella? I'm sorry. Can I hang out with you today? Yeah, these are the same options as before. I know it's none of my business, but I so want to ask this. I mean... I have already played the nosy cousin part, so I might as well ask this. What is up with you and Stella? We just have a history, that's all. I don't need to explain myself to you. I'm gonna ask if the cops told her about Duke. Did the cops say anything about Duke? Did they find the body? Body. They didn't say anything about a body, but apparently he never went home last night. And they had a quite a few questions about you, Katie. And before you ask, don't worry, I told them that you're an upstanding citizen. Oh, Tapita, that's kind of sweet. Thanks for having my back. To, you know I didn't do anything, right? You seem unfazed by this. And these are the same options. Mm, I'm not sure if Tapita trusts us at all. I kind of would like to ask this question, but I think it's important to let her know that I appreciate her having my back. Thanks for having my back. Oh! <laughs> Tabitha flashing her pearly whites again. <laughs> sure, what else is family for? I'm sorry, can I hang out with you today? What's the plan for today? I should say I'm sorry, but I said already thank you. So I'm gonna go with thank you and I'm gonna ask if I can hang out with her today. Can I hang out with you today? At the mines? No. I've gotta go to get to work. But just 
stay out of trouble today, all right? I'll try and be back by sunset and I expect you to be here. I don't want to hear complaints, just do what I ask and we won't have any more problems. Tabitha takes a few steps towards the door. Sunset. <laughs> Your cousin Hoffley exits the kitchen. Her footsteps fade down the hall, ending in that characteristic creak, then slam of the front door as it opens and closes behind her. Once again, you are the only human in the estate. And how do I know that? That makes it sound even more ominous. Okay, there is fru fru, but what is the music all about? And if that is not another human being, what is that? You are the only human in the estate. That scary way of putting it. <laughs> it seems you make a, a bit of bad first impressions, no? The cat chuckles mockingly. Oh, I got a bit scared of that. <laughs> Text message, Royce. Stella has sent you an image. A text from Stella. Oh. <laughs> this is the best form of communication. <laughs> I love it. It's another tired cat. Hope you're holding up okay, or as good as you can with all the stuff we saw last night. I was up most of the night on cryptid forums. No real answers yet. I'm at the library now. If you want to join? That sounds great. Why not? I mean, maybe, I don't know. I don't think they have books on cryptids there, but maybe they might have some other interesting information there. I have scones. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming, Stella, as fast as I can. <laughs> scones say no more. Cool, on my way. I'll be there in a bit. Still waking up after last night? Hell no. I'm not really feeling up for it today. Ghost her. Oh my. Wow. Scones say no more, Stella. And that's that. Time to start your day. Explore, make a BB and J again. Investigate the garden, head to town. I wonder if there's something new in the garden. I really want to go there, just in case something has changed. As your eyes wander to the garden door, you shudder, remembering the brief glimpse of something you saw from your upstairs window. It was probably just a raccoon, but the uncertainty of what you saw gnaws at you and compels you to investigate, if only to prove that it was nothing. Quickly gonna take a look. Oh, yes, here he is. Or, I don't know if that is Dustin, but like, beauty anyway. At the very least, you don't see anything now. Investigate further. Hell no, go back inside. <laughs> I'm gonna investigate further. I need to know what the heck is going on. You wander further into the garden, trying to pinpoint the spots where that thing had been lurking. If indeed there had been a thing to begin with. Okay. Each time I'm pressing the key to take off the text box, I'm nervous because I'm really afraid that something horrible is gonna be underneath. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I don't think anything has changed. I'm trying to look this scenery as carefully as I can, but... If you notice anything, let me know in the comment section. Explore. Take it all in. Check the crown for clues. Head back inside. 
I'm gonna use my explore option before taking a look at my surroundings better. The garden is peaceful but undeniably eerie. Here more than anywhere else, you're surrounded by the ghost of what this place used to be. A greenhouse sits in the midst of the overwhelming greenery, unreachable from years of neglect. Its glass clouded and cracked, statues reach out from within seas of weeds, as if begging to be rescued. And most strikingly, behind a pair of rusted metal gates, at the very peak of the mountain, sits a graveyard. Oh, graveyard, really? You can just make out a view of the headstones, the scarlet name carved deep and proud into their faces. You notice what a good view someone would have of your window if they stood where you are standing right now. Check the ground for clues. <gasps> I need to see this better. <gasps> what is that? It looks like a footprint and what is that? I'm not sure I even want to know. <laughs> you crouch down, pushing aside the greenery to examine the soft earth. A boot print, a big boot print, and what looks like some kind of viscera. Oh. Your thoughts turn to the spectre from the night before. So, Sibyl called him Troubled Man, beyond hope. What on earth does that mean? Sibyl, we need to know more. <laughs> you snap a quick photo just in case it comes in handy later. Text it to Stella, keep it to yourself for now. I'm gonna text it to Stella. I mean, she saw him too. You sent the photo to Stella. Look what I found in the garden across from my window. No way that's Tabitha sized. You head back inside, time to figure out what to do with the rest of your day. Also, I love the fact that it actually made sense that we went back to the garden. I mean, we got more information when we explored and I love that in games. That is something I really enjoy that they appreciate when you explore, when you really try to pay attention and look at the details. Mm. I'm not kind of probably... Should I make a pp and J? I I mean... What if something has changed there as well? I'm gonna make pp and J as well. Sure, Stella might have scones at the library, but scones are later. pp and J is now. <laughs> you quickly scrape together the ingredients and gobble up a delicious breakfast. And that's that. Head to town. Bye bye, Fru Fru! The walk back to town is much less pleasant today than it was yesterday, when you didn't yet know that the woods were full of monsters and strange men who know your name. Yeah, I know, right? Just quickly taking in the scenery again. You stare anxiously into the darkness between the trees searching for any signs of movement, but the woods are still, at least for now. Continue down the path, yes, yes, let's do that. Doing the same here again, okay. 
the autumn-tinged mountains sprawling for miles in every direction now feel less like beautiful scenery and more like the walls of a cage. Well, I don't know about that. There are mysteries here, but I'm open for them. I'm, I'm not afraid my family's roots are in here and whatever mysteries lie in wait, we are gonna do our best to figure them out. Oof, I, I, I scare so easily when I, when the phone text message sound comes. Your phone buzzes in your pocket. Jeez, that's creepy. All the more reason to come to the library. I'm coming. What is the Kanik? <laughs> Look who I found at library. Said she was up all night thinking about the video. Adding you to a group text. I'm only here because it's quieter than the store or was. <laughs> and I'm trying to figure out what animal that could be. I don't buy into this harbinger of doom stuff. We know what animals they are. They're ditchlings and they are our bringers of doom. Sounds like they're having fun. <laughs> yeah, I mean, each to their own. <laughs> then I need those codes on my way. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. I'll be there soon. Can't wait to solve this mystery. Each links aren't real. Stella sent a hot emoji. I thought I told you I <laughs> don't reply. Um... Is it too early to send a hard emoji? I guess the reason why I would choose that is that I really like this game. <laughs> um, can't wait to solve this mystery. Almost back to town. Continue down the path. Oh, that's Avery and Sibyl. I was kind of hoping to get to meet Avery again. Let's take a look at the street. Wait, here is round window as well and so is here. Perhaps I was wrong when I was thinking that it was the estate window, but I think it had like wood and blanks that were like horizontal next to it. I might be remembering it's wrong, but neither of these windows seem to have those around them. But I guess we'll see. You make it to town in one piece. No creatures jumped out at you, no scary men blocked your path. Thank goodness for that. <laughs> the sight of other people is comforting. Helping you forget the things you've witnessed, as if they happened to someone else. Oh, hey Katie. Hi Avery. We were just talking about you. I stopped by Sybil's to pick up her new tea blend and... Well... You're the biggest thing to come into town since the coal mine. Folks have been absolutely buzzing about you. You went out with Stella last night. Did something happen out there? She barely even waved when she walked by. Oh boy. <laughs> I want to be honest with them. Mm. Street Smart Lie, Duke had a haunting accident. Street Smart Lie, we just got some really good footage, is all. Tell Avery the whole truth. I'm traumatized and not ready to talk about it yet. Jeez knows so much, I hardly know you say nothing. I mean, they were so kind to us when we dined there, I mean... Of course, the coffee 
house or place <laughs> is where rumors are spread, but I don't think Avery seemed like the type to gossip, so... Can I trust Avery? I mean, they were very kind to us and to Stella. Stella seems to trust them. I'm gonna take a risk and tell Avery the whole truth. Stella and I went into the woods to try and find a skunk ape, but we ran into something way worse. Actual monsters. Sibyl said that they're called ditchlings, but whatever they are, they killed Duke and have been mutilating the local wildlife. Whoa, whoa, slow down! Duke is dead? It's true, I'm afraid. That's awful, has... Has anyone told Bo? Yes, he's taking it as well as you can imagine. I'll be going up to check in on him today, the poor lad. I can't believe you had to see that, Katie. Tell you what, I'm on break for the next half hour. How about you swim by the diner? Winnie can fix you some of Sibyl's new bland and try to calm your nerves. Sibyl is winking at me. It's Changa and Lemon Bomb. It's always helped me on the bad days. And if you need to talk about what happened, I'm all ears. Anyways, it's up to you. See you around, Katie. See ya, Sybil. Take care now, Avery. I'd better get back to it myself. I'm glad I was able to catch you this morning, if only to see how you were holding up. Please don't hesitate to stop by if I can't be of any help. Oh, that's so sweet, thank you. Street smart, what aren't you telling us? Yes, these, these, tell me about Wayne and everything. Thanks, Sibyl. Wait, do you know anything else about Ditchlings? Why doesn't anyone in this town seem to know or care that a man died? Why doesn't anyone in this town seem to know or care that the woods are full of monsters? What is wrong with people here? <laughs> Quietly let her leave. I'm so not gonna let her leave. I'm gonna use my street smart option. What aren't you telling us? You're awfully relaxed given everything you told us last night. Don't mistake my calm demeanor for complacency. We all have our parts to play in this. What do you mean? I've shared what I know about the Ditchlings, and I trust that you and Stella have what it takes to get to the bottom of things. <sighs> That's not enough. You're holding back secrets and I don't know why. By not telling us you are putting us in more danger. Or at least that's how I feel as a player at the moment. I'm so sorry to cut out our conversations short, but I've got things that need tending to. Stay safe, Katie, and God bless. Okay, so you do believe in God, okay. Mm. You probably have a bit of time before you're needed at the library. Explore, swim by the diner, swim by the general store, head straight to the library. I would like to swim by the diner. I would like to get to know Avery a bit better. I mean, they invited us there, so I guess it's okay to go there. And truth to be told, that tea sounds wonderful. Especially after the walk we had to get into this town. <laughs> You head towards the diner. 